Holy shit. Look at what we have here today, boys. We have Kratos and boy. Oh my gosh, I have one of these for so long. Actually so long. I'm so happy to get them. I found them on Mercari because I, I honestly have no idea where to even buy these from. I just saw them and I immediately bought them because I could not help myself. But Kratos came, Kratos' box came pretty, pretty damaged for some reason, but it's okay. That's, that's not why we bought it. We want, we want that guy in. Oh, there I am. We want that guy in there. Yes. Yes. We want boy also. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's crack these boys open. Oh my gosh. Yes. Kratos and boy. Boy and Kratos. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so happy that I have these. Like, I am actually so happy that I have these. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to do just literally everything, starting with this review. So, let's get up close and personal and talk about details of boy before we even get started on. We'll get to him later. Oh my gosh. So. Boy. Oh, like, let me get, let me get the, let me get the light on this. There is so much sculpting detail, like, completely hidden. Well, not, not really hidden, but that could be brought to life with a lot more paint detail. But, like, there's so much there still. Like, if you, if you look in there, like, look at all this. Oh my gosh. Even the fur on the back. The leather. Oh my gosh, it all looks so good. And then you got boy. Atreus' li li uh, likeness is actually very good. Look at him. He's even got the little scars on his face. He's got that weird little tin tin slash mohawk. I don't really know what he's going for. He should just go like dad and go bald. But, damn, I don't know. He just looks so good. Just like, just like the older Atreus in Ragnarok. Look at this bow. With an actual, like it's an actual bow, basically. If he came to life, he could probably shoot it. Look at that. Comes with an arrow that fits perfectly in this little... I'm not trying to shoot it and get it lost, but it also has like... I don't know if you can see that on my finger. But it has like a little divot, so that way it looks like it could fit into this, uh, to the rope here, actually. That'd be nuts. Yeah, look at that. Well, okay. Get the Kratos, let's get the Kratos, let's get the Kratos, let's get the Kratos. All right, all right. Look at our man right here. Look at him. Like, we actually got a super gas Kratos figure now. Like, with great articulation and everything. Like, I'm... I'm... Even my tummy's chanting about this shit. Like... Oh my... God. Oh my God. Woo! We're definitely cutting that out. Oh my gosh. Leather. All sculpted, no paint detail for some reason. I probably will end up going in and just like, I don't know, adding a bunch of details. Cause like, it just looks like flat plastic though, also from a distance. Cause like, if you're not, like the details are very like appeasing and you can, they like, they get it to a certain point, but I think paint would elevate it to a standard that I would expect this figure to be at. There we go. Just slowly articulating my words. Either way, though, even, even like, like, when we come down to the axe, though, like, this is also my point. The axe is just three colors. It's just brown, silver, and gold, which is, that's fine. Not really. I don't like it at all. I think it would be nice, considering this is his main weapon, for it to be, like, some type of, uh, 
some type of extra design or like at least go crazy on this axe part or on the axe tip or the axe this part the main part of the axe everybody's favorite part of the axe this part would look much cooler if it had some type of i'm trying to find the neck of one as i talk also there it is the power of editing hey, yeah look at that Ooh. Ooh, look at that we got different colored paint for the the little wrappings on the handle we got black washing and the engravings we got blue gems we got the like i'm not trying to immediately throw shade but this is what we're here for is it not <laughs> so i definitely think that uh even the scale too i think that NECA nailed the scale for this guy but this is too small for the figure it comes with so i'm probably going to just replace this one with this one because it looks infinitely better like i don't know either way we will get into size comparisons later because that that is also a big factor when it comes to the weapons i'm sure because they themselves are actually not that tall so it would make sense that he has a smaller axe than most other uh most other figures that just goes perfectly on on bro's back right there oh my gosh all right yeah so let me look more into the accessories so kratos comes with two he only comes with two gripping hands so that's fine and he comes with two fists already on him and yeah these have yeah these have horizontal hinges i think they all do actually i'm surprised that his fists don't have the the vertical ones and he comes with his shield which is very warped i think it's been in that package for quite a minute but i don't know i'm not trying to like break it right now but i think i'll try to heat it up and then freeze it super flat i don't know i'll fix it at some point but regardless though i still think it looks really nice just like the game for the most part i mean they didn't have to go crazy on the shield i think it looks completely fine yeah i like it a lot actually um Atreus comes with these two super small hands for his bow. Little, you like to pull pull it back, and then uh, to hold the bow. There we go. Little small hands, Jesus. And obviously the arrow that you saw a minute ago. So yeah, I mean they don't come with a lot, but my expectations weren't honestly that high. I'm happy that we have a Kratos figure that is not as tall. I mean, he is really small, though, so... In my case, I want him to fight dinosaurs and, like, big-ass... Big... Big other figures, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be fine that him and Atreus are smaller, because I guess it'll just be a bigger W, you know what I mean? But... I mean, for the most part, putting him in your collection, he's not gonna... They're not gonna look too, uh... Too accurate. But... Yeah, I guess we could just... Uh, I'll probably cut. Yeah, we'll cut. And we'll get back for the size comparisons, actually. Goodbye. Ooh, all right. So we are back for the size comparison. I had to get everybody out, basically. We will start off with the only Kratos or God of War competitor I have in the collection at the time. This big, big... Uh... That's not a good start, now is it? <laughs> big ass Kratos yeah he just he makes him look boy like my custom <laughs> my custom uh, <laughs> amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man with the Mezco suit so that kind of gives you like a skill for the Mezco Spidey so they're kind of okay they're kind of neck and neck so then the Oh my gosh. Marvel Legends Spider-Punk. Yeah, most of these figures are Spider-Man related. I wonder why. It's moving. I swear it's moving. I swear he's moving. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Hold on. 
I the tiger baby. If I could do that eagle screech on command, I would. Here we go. Mafex, amazing, not, Mafex Winter Soldier. Yeah, hold on, look at this scale real quick though. Okay, look at that. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. Even though I guess this is the older version of Atreus at this time. I guess if you customize them to look younger, that would look really good, but I don't know. I don't think that's that, that is that bad. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> SH Figure Arts Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man, the goat, of course. Yeah, he looks, yeah, I don't know. Like Kratos, he looks good against SH Figure Arts, I guess. But like, I feel like Kratos as a god would still be much larger just just in general like this this would be kind of nice but i still feel like that's still pretty pretty huge compared to like if these figures though i wouldn't really want i don't know somewhere right in between this would be perfect whoever's listening scarlet spider-man mafix scarlet spider-man still he's just a, i don't know they're like the same height i guess he scales i, I don't know yeah he scales pretty well with mafix like on par though not god height mezco batman bat battington no, not battinson though i don't have the mezco bat batman the batman unfortunately we are stuck with batfleck but yeah batfleck towers over him makes kratos looks like look like a little baby like just in general he's like way bigger than him that is just mezco though they're just bigger in their own type of scale yeah we won't even try this more religions crossbones i don't know man you just it's really hard to like it's hard to tell if he's bigger if he's small i feel like he could definitely just be bigger but he's it's not like he's like it's not like he's smaller than everybody at least that I don't know. At least that I have in my collection. Please stand. We're on the clock here. People are watching. Hey, oh, see, like, he's bigger than Spidey. I, I might. <sighs> it's still pretty small, bro. Like, just. Right where my finger ends. Right where my fingertip is. Like, shoulder level for this guy maybe would be amazing. But, hey, I don't run the company, do I? Otherwise, they'd be making bazillion dollars, not millions. They'd be making bazillion. All right, I need to show. I don't know. I feel like Kratos could be bigger, but there is your size comparison. I feel like this is this has been the biggest biggest thing with these figures is if Kratos is big, if he's small, I think he could be bigger. Bigger. But I wouldn't exactly call him unusably small like ah he's like daredevil's giving him a run for his money right now though like really matt i'm a fucking god of war bro's a little tiny itty bitty baby but it's all right though i think he scales yeah he scales with him you know yeah yeah, I'll just let you guys make your own conclusions about that because I definitely, I definitely think he could be bigger. You're, you're no complaint. You're just supposed to be a kid, so as long as you're around shoulder level to him, that'll always be okay. Let's get into articulation since I just haven't done that yet. Um, oh my gosh, we'll take this off just for convenience' sake. Yeah, so yeah, you could look. He could look up pretty pretty well for whatever he's on. I feel like he's just on a double, yeah, double ball joint, ball peg. I don't know. I'm not up on my articulation lingo, but it doesn't matter. Get up about that high, that low. Full 360 for any of you psychos out there. And then he's got plenty of attitude. Oh, yeah. Butterfly joints. Oh, my gosh. Butterfly joints. I was actually, like, it just adds so much to a figure's personality and versatility and all the other big words that end in itty that I could possibly think of. It's just, I don't know. It's just much better. But yeah, so he's got a beautiful butterfly joint that gets him pretty far back, pretty far forward. Not bad. 
even on this side he's got it it works very well considering this is all super soft plastic so that goes just about the same honestly but um he's got bicep swivel yup yeah, get that shit 360 single jointed okay single jointed elbows that gets you a little bit past 90 if you're pushing it you know just a just a little bit i mean not really we'll just call it 90 degrees then since i'm arguing with myself over here for no reason full 360 on the on the fists all of the ugh, the shield just came off also all of the wrist pegs have these horizontal hinges so they only go side to side i feel like on these ones it would have been nice to have them go this way just because i don't know i feel like a fist would be more useful this way than this way Ah, it's on camera. We're too we're too far. Um <clears throat> there we go. And just pop. <sighs> there we go. I gotta hit the gym. Um <laughs> Yeah, so you get obviously hit a full 360 on this side because there's no shoulder pad. So on this side, this gets out of the way very well. If you're willing like I think I think that's fine. I think that's completely okay. Like, you could definitely get him in these over-the-head, what's it called? You know what I mean? These over-the-head flying with your Leviathan axe at a huge Cyclops holding a big pillar. You know what I mean? Type shit. Ty type shit. But, I don't know. Some people may, may not want to uh, put that much stress on this soft plastic, but play my playtime is rough. You know what I mean? At no expense. Spare no expense. Or, I don't know, even what I'm trying to say here. Torso. Get a lot side to side. Oh, yeah. You can get jiggy with it. Back, plenty. For, forward could be better, but... I mean, he's not really Spider-Man, is he? He doesn't have to be, like, crouching down doing superhero landings. Even though he kind of does that all the time. Um, his legs, this is all also soft plastic and it's pretty split up. So not a lot is getting in the way. Get pretty far forward that way. There we go. About 90 also. He's got double jointed knees. There we go. The upper thigh swivel. And then no, so yeah, the toes go down. The toes go up. The toes swivel. But there is no like rotation on these, which makes it, I don't know. Just makes his like flat feet look weird when you're trying to get him like crouching. And he's all like And he's all like I think it's weird. I think it's weird. It's I'm not demonstrating it well at all right now. But you understand kind of what I mean though. Just for convenience sake, I guess. But it is completely functional as is, so yeah, Kratos' movement is very good. I would say that he's a certified gymnast. For sure. I'm completely pleased with that, other than other than literally just that. I think that's my only complaint. I don't even mind that he can't really touch his toes or whatever or any of that. I just wish that his ankles had a little bit more more twist on them. Boy. Alright. Boy could look that far up. That far down. I think, yeah, he's on a neck. He's he's on a neck joint also, so I think that neck moves in there. So that's cool. That's not how it is on Kratos, probably just because they didn't want to cut up his neckline. That makes sense. Let's take you off. <clears throat> um, the, This is a very, like, the, like, whatever his shirt is, is very soft. So that does not... Eh, it kind of It's kind of spring-loaded, you know what I mean? It kind of comes back to the position it was, but... I mean, I get what they were going for. You know what I mean? A for effort. Because they did give him a butterfly joint underneath all of this. So, hell yeah. Butterfly joint. So he's got a butterfly joint. I can't really... Ah, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of useless, but... Goes up to 90. Hit a T-pose real easy. Yup. In between scenes, I'm sure he, he was doing that. Um, he's a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, just like Papa. Um, his wrists are hinged, uh, 
hinged vertically. Jeez, I'm talking like a robot. I'm pretty sure someone typed in all my dialogue five minutes before I started this. Okay, yeah, this one is also... There we go. That one's also hinged pretty... Yeah, all right. Uh, Waist-wise, he's also just ball joint in the waist and then all this range. I think this works, though, especially with characters that have all this weird little armor. Like, for Kratos, it's perfect. An ab crunch would have been... I don't know, I feel like it would have just pushed it all back up. It wouldn't have been nice. But, like, with these guys, they did it very well, just with all the super soft plastic they used. Get him back pretty far. Forward. Out. Look at that. Oh, I didn't do that on Kratos, so I guess I, sh I should have tested that. We'll do that in a second. Hey, he could definitely hit the splits, though. He also has upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. All right, let's not break it on camera. I'm not trying to cry today. Look at that. Yeah. Double jointed knees. Same as Papa though. No, uh, no swivel. No bueno. But he has up, down, swivel, all that good stuff. So perfect. Yeah. So Kratos can't. Wow. Okay. Kratos is even better than his son. I guess. I guess we know where he learned it. That's intimate. All right. So, all in all, I am still, even with the scale as it is, considering who I'm trying to have him fight animation wise, it's completely fine. It's perfect. I'm going to have, I'm going to be buying probably Mythic Legions figures. Speaking of, let me show you him in scale with a nameless knight. Well, that's what I call him because. That's what he is. A Mythic Legions figure. There we go. So, I, that's even worse. So, I think that'll be good, though, considering that this company makes monsters and stuff. So, he can... Well, my phone died. And I wasn't really talking about anything important anyway. So, my overall review of these guys is I'm in love. I think that they're going to fall over now. Um, but... I definitely think that they would have benefited from a little bit more paint, maybe a few more accessories, and a little bit of a height adjustment. But I'm still completely happy with what I bought. This is the exact type of stuff I want them to do. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I love them. I would highly recommend them if those aren't things that bother you. But I could, I, I would understand anybody who would not like this guy because of those things but it's okay i'm happy we're happy they're probably gonna fall over fall over again here super soon so i hope you guys enjoyed i would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed i would love to do a lot more of these reviews soon and let me know if you like this new style of review because it's just easier for me to do this than to animate everything so i could probably do a lot more of these so Feedback would be greatly appreciated. All right. I will see you guys next time. Adios.